Hello everyone, previously on my channel I had uploaded a tutorial of lowered window family in Revit. That tutorial has a long and exhausting process. So now I am going to upload an easier and less time consuming process. This process has been described by one of the viewers for which I am very grateful. This lowered window is fully parametric and you can easily change its width, height, angle, number of floors its cell level and also the height of each lure. But before we start, let me remind you to like and share my videos and leave a comment below. And also, if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. So now let's start with the tutorial. Open new family template file of furniture. Go to right elevation and place a reference plane as shown. Place a dimension between these two reference planes and then assign a parameter to it. I'm going to name it height of one lure. For now, I am going to give it the value of six inches. After that, place a reference line at this point. With the help of align command, lock it down at this point at which blue dot appears. If the blue dot does not appear, press the tab button on the keyboard. Now give, now assign the par uh, angular parameter between the reference line and the reference plane. Assign the parameter of height of one lure to this reference line as well. Now select extrusion in the create tab Set the reference plane to this reference line and draw as shown. Assign a parameter to extrusion end. as the width of lure. For now, I am going to give it the value of 4 feet. Now select void extrusion. Set the reference plane to the reference line and draw as shown. Assign the parameter to the extrusion end as the glass width and add a formula to the glass width parameter which is width of lure minus 2 inches. The 2 inches is basically the frame which will hold the glass and give the extrusion start of 2 inches. Select this void extrusion and mirror it as it has been extruded in the opposite direction. Select the cut command and then Select both of these extrusions. Now we have the frame for the lure. Now again select extrusion, set the reference plane to this reference line and draw the uh, elevation for the glass as shown.
गिव द एक्सट्रूजन एंड द पैरामीटर ऑफ ग्लास वेथ एंड द एक्सट्रूजन स्टार शुड बी टू इंच नाउ असाइन मटीरियल टू दिस ग्लास गिव इट द पैरामीटर एंड असाइन मटीरियल टू दिस फ्रेम एज वेल एज शोन इन द वीडियो After creating one lower in the furniture template file, open new family template file of window. Load this lower into the window template file project and close it down. For now, place it anywhere on the in the file. Now go to interior elevation. Select extrusion. Set the reference plane to the center, print back, and then create the frame for the uh, window as shown. Give it an extrusion end of one inches, an extrusion start of minus one inches, which is going to make it a total extrusion of two inches. Assign material to this frame as well. Now go to right elevation, change the sill level to 0 feet, then place two reference planes as shown. With the help of align command, lock these reference planes with the frame. Place dimension between these two reference planes and these two reference planes and then lock both of them. Place one more reference plane as shown. Place a dimension in these two reference planes. Assign it the parameter of height of one lower. Now select this lower which we have loaded in this file and assign this the parameter which we have just created. Now select and move this lower to its position. Now select a click on align command, click on this reference pane and keep on pressing the tab button till you get this blue dot. And lock it down. Go to the plan view and lock the frame with the lure as shown. Select this lure, go, click on edit type and assign a new parameter to the width of lure. Name I'm going to name it width of lures. Then open this dialog box and assign a formula in this width of lures which is width minus this 
2 inches and click OK. Now the frame, the lure has been adjusted within the window. Now select the, uh, click on the array command, click on last and select the lure from this point and place it at here. Now click on the array, uh, align command and lock it at the blue dot with the reference plane. Now select this line and assign a parameter to it which is number of lures. Assign a formula to this newly created parameter which is height divided by height of one lure. Now, whenever you change the height of uh, the window, the lures will automatically adjust itself according to the parameters. As you can see, the number of the lures is now 10. Then now if you change the height of lures, for example, to eight inches, then the height of each lower will increase and the number of lowers will decrease. Now, uh, give this angle a new parameter, also name it angle, so that it appears in the, in this dialog box. You can rotate these lowers at any given angle for 0 to 90 degrees. You can also change the width, the height, the sill level, whatever you wish for this window. If by increasing the width of the window, the lures uh, change its position, go to the interior elevation and with the help of align command, lock it down. So now the lures will not change its position if you, whenever you change the width of the windows. So that's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. I will meet you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care. And most importantly, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.